Hey guys, Tony here, and uh, I'm going to attempt to answer Big Star 1000's thread on the vinyl community and how it has uh, affected us, how it's changed our record buying, our musical taste, the whole thing. And I can honestly say that joining this community has had a profound effect on me and my love of music. Um, it really, really has, uh, and I'm really thankful for this community. I think it is. It really is a special thing, and to those of us that are involved in it, uh, even to the people who watch regularly and comment regularly, I think we all know how cool and special this is. Um, you know, I've said it so many times, and I'll, it, it bears repeating, and maybe even further examination, but I grew up, I, I was a music fanatic. I discovered The Doors, and The Doors did it for me. Um, you know, at 12, 13 years old, I mean, that's heavy stuff to get into, I guess. Um, but I was a fanatic, and, and it just went from there. The Doors happened to be from the 60s, and it just went from there. Then I got into the Beatles and so forth. Um, and it really grew, you know, obviously I discovered Dylan and Neil Young and um, in the 70s bands and all that stuff. I mean, the stuff everybody knows about. And, you know, that just... It just blew. It was exciting for me when I got into that stuff. I loved it. I loved reading books about these artists. I loved getting as much my hands on as much music as I could back then. Um, you know, and it, it just becomes. I mean, music is, is is so important as an adolescent. Music seems to be like an adolescent sort of thing in that we use it to. I know in, in my. I can only speak for myself, obviously, but. To me, I mean, I identified myself with the artists that made this music. I, it was important to me. I mean, the, it was really important to me, and it, it, it still is. Um, but I think what happened here is that I just became, you know, I got to the point in my life where, you know, I got married, we bought a house, we had a kid, and I'm not going out as much anymore. I mean, it's tough to go out all the time and uh, when you have a family, but... As a result, I wasn't discovering music as organically as I once was. I'm not meeting different people so much and talking about music or, you know, it just didn't happen so much. As we all know, the radio, that's no help. I mean, the same shit over and over, you know, you're not really going to discover anything new. Um, so, yeah, I was listening to the same things over and over. And getting back to music being an adolescent thing, you know, people tend to grow out of it. Um, they just do. I don't know why. It seems like young people, you know, even through your 20s, music is an important thing. And then something happens and you lose interest. And I think what happens, and again, I can only speak for myself because I could see this happening. I could have seen this happen to me. You stop discovering new stuff. And how many times can you listen to, you know, the, the same, you know, what is like 10, um, 12 Beatles albums? How many times can you listen to the same? Led Zeppelin albums, or the same Neil Young albums, or the same, you just can't, it, it becomes, you know, I'll always, always love that stuff, but I think what happens if, if you stop discovering new stuff, like anything else, it gets old, and you start to lose interest, it, the spark goes away, and it, you know, so to me, the biggest thing about the community, and I think it goes without saying if you watch my videos, is just the discovering of new music. Uh, for me, I mean, I am so thankful to you guys for really turning me on. Sure, I could look and I could read Rolling Stone and hear about a new album, or even an old album. I could look online and see something, but there's nothing like somebody saying, "Hey, this is, you know, buy this album because this is fantastic." And somebody that you know already has good taste, you trust their taste, and when they recommend something to you. You should listen, and I do, and I'm I'm really glad for it. This is just an arm's length. When I think about it, I mean, when I started making videos here, I mean, to me it was, I really want, I discovered Dan Canada's videos, and I, it was something I just really wanted to be a part of, and my fear was putting myself out there like that. Um, but my rationalization with that is that it's, it's music. I love music. Um, we're, we're talking about something that, that I have just such a deep love for that to me it really just you know those fears did not seem as important when you really get down to what we're discussing 
And I'm so glad I took that risk because, you know, I could watch videos and still get the same information from people, but there's something about being a part of the community and showing what you buy. It just makes it more exciting. I buy this album. I really don't have anybody to show it to. I mean, maybe a, a couple friends, should they come over? Maybe my wife, but she, you know, she, she doesn't go, oh, great, it's just another album. No, man, I, I this album is freaking awesome, and I'm so glad I got a copy of it. I mean, that's so important to me. It just is, and I have that, to sh I could share it with you guys. And I think for the most part, most of you understand my excitement. Um, it's such a cool thing. And uh, I'll say this to you if you're watching my video, and maybe you kind of identify what I was saying, where I, where I was at musically. Um, I think most of us, though, are pretty, you know, we're pretty well-versed in music. And, you know, if we're watching these videos, chances are you're pretty open to discovering new stuff. But should you have been like I was and feel like you're stuck in a rut and you're listening to the same stuff over and over, find new stuff, open your mind, really, because it's just... You know, I used to have a kind of a dickhead attitude about music. Like, it's that sucks. What, that sucks, well, you know. Everything that I said sucked back in the day, I love now. Um, and it just goes to show, we're not always right. And, you know, open your mind a little bit and you'll, you'll find that, you know, you open up a whole new world for yourself. And that's probably about the best advice I could give to somebody that's a music lover. I mean... Open your mind to stuff because, you know, work, get, put in the work. If you hate something at first listen, maybe if, if you hate something at first listen, maybe you could leave it alone. But if you listen to it and you don't quite know what it's about, you don't quite know what you make of it to make of it, listen to it some more. Put in the work. Uh, I think that's also an important thing I've learned through you guys. Um, don't judge something too fast. And keep an open mind and... You know, that's kind of it. My record buying obviously has changed quite a bit. I mean, as you guys know, I mean, but I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic about it. To me, it's exciting. And I'm, I'm glad to have stuff to listen to besides the same stuff that they play on, you know, classic rock radio or, you know, the 90s station. I mean, it's, it, I'm so thankful to be able to move past that stuff and still have it there, still love it, still go back to it. But to have new stuff to listen to, you know, old stuff that's new to me and new stuff that's completely new. Um, it's just such a beautiful thing, and I'm so glad to be a part of this community. And I hope this video came out okay and that it makes sense. So please leave me some comments, guys. Fred, awesome thread. Um, one more note, too, I mean, about Fred, Big Star 1000. To me, he's my biggest influence on this community. And... I have learned to really just trust his taste and to go with it, and I've been rewarded so many times over, and if you're watching my videos and don't know about Big Star 1000, you should, so subscribe to him, really. Thank you so much, Fred. Great thread. I hope you enjoy it. Take care, guys.